Hi guys, Flo friends, welcome back. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm inside again because it's absolutely windy as hell outside and you're not going to be able to hear me. And I don't have something I can do voiceover at the moment because I completely forgot to pick it up. So I'll just go and get that later on. Right, let's talk dog as well. Today's video. Ah, happy, happy, happy. I've done a massive upgrade. Honest truth, never thought I would. And that is, I've upgraded the down blanket. That no longer is going to be part. It's going to be part of my sleep system for the winter with this piece, new piece of the kit. But 99 cents, I that will not be with me. Gone. And I'm replacing it with dun 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 a swagman wall. Yes, I spent the money and I bought one of these. I have had a look at this. This is first looks as well, by the way, guys. I have looked at it myself. I did it with potato head yesterday when it came in. So, yeah. Oh, I just can't wait to get this out and use it personally. And I'm looking forward to that because that's going to be next weekend. Can't do it this weekend because things are going on. So, yeah. Right. This is the bag it comes in. This is the storage bag. This is the bag I will be keeping it in. I'm not actually having it in my rucksack. There it is, guys. Yes, it is black. I did pick black for a reason. As you all know, I like to have my kit matching. So, yeah. It's a lot bigger than me. It's massive. So, yeah. Um, that's one thing I have noticed recently. I'm calling, calling on to this. That no one packs it. In its stuff sack, if that makes any sense to you. I was reading online about it all being packed up. And I was looking on their website and they were showing all it all packed away. And I'm thinking, hang on a minute, why does no one else do that? And I'm thinking, they all know that the pocket there, and that's that pocket what goes here, or down here on me, on my belly. And yeah, it is the travelling stuff sack. And yeah, I could put it in here. But the problem is, if I put it in this one, it's too big for my rucksack. And that's what made me have a button by getting it. But going on to their website, I actually noticed that you can actually stuff it in its travel stuff sack. What people just class as a pocket, and there you go. That's it. It's travel stuff sack, and that there is a lot smaller than when it was in this. And I know a lot of people might say, "Well, we do do that anyway." And I, I, I probably, you probably, people probably do. I just, I haven't seen it. So yeah, right, okay. So that's that done. Right, I'm going to answer some questions. What I've been asking myself. Why do I upgrade my down blanket? Well, the down blanket is a good down blanket, don't get me wrong. But it, it's nice and small, it compacts nice and small, don't get me wrong as well on that. A lot smaller than this, probably half the size of this. But it's probably not as warm as this is going to be. I've never, I've not tried this by the way. I'm just saying, I have no idea what that warmness is going to be. But I've seen people use this. I think they said about 30 Fahrenheit, so that's like two or three degrees. I think I'm not 100 percent sure. Don't quote me on that. So yeah, and I'm thinking if I can do it, why can't I? I've slept in that down blanket at minus two. I've slept in this poncho. Liner at minus two, and I was not bad. So I thought if I get this one, it might be better because it time you can actually tie this into a sleeping bag, so you can zip it up, so you can stop the wind getting at you. So that's the reason why I got it as well. And not just that, I can use it as a, as you know, poncho liner. Simple. I can use it as a sort of sleeping bag. That's what it says here. You can use it as a until you can use it on a modular sleep system. You can use it as a universal blanket, and you can use it as an undercoat. I think every time I do a video lately, something has to come through, but no mind. So, yeah, I haven't got an under 
quote for hammock. I've got hammock, as you all know, but I haven't used I'm got an underquilt, so we might have to give that a go one day. What's gonna be interesting? So yeah, and this here is gonna say this here's five in one, so I don't have to buy an underquilt now. Simple. If I, if I want to take this, if I take this as an underquilt, I can take the damn blanket as the top quilt for the hammock. So yeah. Um it's amazing. I'm gonna show you something really funny now, but give me a second guys, I'm gonna pause you and then bring you back. Right guys, this is set up as the poncho liner. As you can see, it's huge, it's massive on me. Yeah, I've got these clips, what they have. That's the smallest it goes, and it still looks massive on me. <laughs> But I don't care because me and Dopey Dog, hard to believe, yeah, in this with that unclipped and me sat down, she can sit in the front and there's still mountains of room in the back. It's massive on me. So me and Dopey Dog, it, yeah, can wrap up warm in this and we can stay nice and warm. So tell me what you think and um, tell me what if you've got a swag man role and how you get along with it because, as I said, I've only had this less than 24 hours. And to really be honest, I'm actually enjoying it quite a lot already. I know there's one stupid thing. I know, I know somebody's already going to mention. I'm not doing any modifications on this. I'm not being that stupid. I'm not saying any stupid question, but I'm not going to be stupid. I am not going to do any modifications on this Swagman mill. It costs too much money to do modifications. This here cost me over. This cost me 102 pounds to buy. It was the whole of my budget for this month on my bushcraft and camping and survival or whatever you want to call it gear. I've set myself budgets now and this was the upgrade I wanted this month and so yeah right guys I'm leaving you here because it's just gone over seven minutes I think I'm babbling too much about a swag man well but I'm so excited I can't wait to get out and use this now so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one and hopefully in the next one guys or not the next next one but hopefully soon guys you'll see us using this hopefully by the end of this month so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon bye bye